Hello friends list. Um, I decided to record something because it would probably take way too long to type everything that is going on right now. Um, I sure hope the washing machine isn't too loud in the background because the washing machine is right next to the den slash computer room. But um, we've been hit with some pretty nasty storms. Um, we had snow Thursday night and snow again Saturday and the snow really wasn't the problem. That's all since melted away. Um, but Saturday and all into Sunday and in today we've been getting hammered and I mean literally hammered with high winds. It's a leftover typhoon that was in the South Pacific that has moved up to this area. So we're getting drenching rains. The coast has been getting like up to six inches in the last 24 hours. We got about four inches. Um, the sustained gust on some of the coast was 125 miles an hour in some places and in here up to 60. They've since died down a little bit but there's flooding that's going on, mudslides, down trees, power outages, you name it. It's just a mess up here right now. The worst is the coast, but still the Portland metro area is not doing that great either. Um, scary thing still, my husband went to work today. Um, for those of you that don't know what he does for a living, he's a forestry consultant, which means him and his boss work out in the woods. And I did not want him to go to work today, but of course, you know, he's been doing this for almost 30 years now. He never listens to me when the weather's really severe. Um, sometimes he will, but most of the time, no, because he thinks he knows better than I, which I guess in some ways he does, but it's nowhere near the coast, but still where he went. I'm just worried about him getting not only in there okay, but him and his boss getting out of there okay. So that's one thing that's really got me worried today. and. I'm too chicken shit to drive out in this stuff, I'm sorry, but it just gets this much rain where it's just coming down in sheets and you can barely see even when the windshield wipers are on and there's so much wind, you know, I'm just, I don't do it. So one of my neighbors who's nice enough, um, he's the same person that took Cassandra back and forth to school when my knee had problems and I couldn't walk earlier this year. He took her to school and he told me he would gladly pick her up today. So thank God after today things are going to calm down, but they're saying that some of the flooding that some of the areas are going to get today could be just as bad as the flooding we had here of 1996. Um, if you want to know how bad that was, seriously, go to Google and type in Portland, Oregon flood 1996 and you'll find lots of articles and it was pretty freaking bad. Um, luckily it didn't affect where I lived at the time and I don't think it will where I live now, but still you feel bad for the people it does affect. Um, the whole coastline from Newport on up to Astoria, um, you can look up an Oregon map on Google as well. Um, the whole coastline is cut off from everywhere else. You cannot get to the coast or from the coast to here on any of the roads they've been closed for. Mudslides, down trees, power poles down, etc. So they're cut off. They have no power. The only people that have power down there are people that have generators or backup auxiliary stuff. So I'm really glad my husband didn't get that job on the coast that he was trying for because right now I wouldn't be talking to you. I would have no power. We would be stuck in our house. And that, that's just freaking me out too, thinking about that. But I guess we dodged a bullet. So, uh... Yunin Dolathan, I think that's how you say your name on Live Journal. Sorry if I said it wrong. I know you're up in Washington. I don't know how hard you got this storm because it did come from the southwest, but I know you got more snow than we did. I don't know if you guys got more rain and wind, but if you could check in today with the post or something, that would make me not worry about you so much because I'm thinking about you, woman. I know you're up in the Pacific Northwest like me, just the state above me, but I know we get a lot of the same crap, and uh, I'll just be glad to get back to normal. I hate storms like this. It's one of the reasons why I hated living on the coast before. It's one of the reasons why I didn't want to do it again. So anyways, you guys, I hope that uh, the rest of you are having a better Monday. Keep your fingers crossed for us, or say prayers, or whatever it is you do. Send good vibes. We could use them. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.